Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm going to be downgrading this fire alarm system. Yes, you heard that right. We're downgrading this system. Today I have these Amzico horn strobes up. They're not brand new, but they're still compliant for current day applications. Uh, this system would pass just fine. And we're going to be installing some really old vintage Relux 7002 horn strobes and some older pull stations. Um, we're kind of going back in time. The reason I'm filming this is because you usually never see anything like this anymore. You always see upgrades where we go from old equipment to new equipment. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to show how I take this fairly new system and then transform it into a nice old system uh, for this demonstration. So here's all the stuff we're downgrading to. You can see these are all Wheelock 7002 mechanical horn strobes. These are really, really old, really historic looking, but they look really nice. Fun fact, I actually pulled these out of a dumpster. They were going to the landfill, but we're reviving them today by putting them on a demo system, which is always nice. Then I have some of these pull stations. You can see this is a Kitta B5. Firelight BG6, this is probably the most common pull station you'd see with these. Um, one of these Spectronics pulls, and this should be a nice system. Let's go ahead and undo this screw in the middle of the device here and that'll release it from its mounting bracket right here and then you can see this is a two wire device so all i have to do is undo these screw terminals to release these cables like so and then i can remove the actual device from the cables in the wall let's go ahead and remove the screws so we can remove the back bracket from the box as you can see, this box has uh, two gang holes, which won't work for the new devices or actually the old devices that we're installing. So we'll have to remove this box. So here's the box. And now we just have wires coming out of the wall, but now we can worry about the pull station. So this right here is fixed in the back here. So we have to pull this cover, but I got to hold the button in so that way the alarm doesn't go off. Obviously I could disable the zone, but who's got time for that? So let's go ahead and just undo these screws. And then in this case, all I have to do is just remove the pole station because the box that's currently installed here will be fine for the new pole station or the old pole station that I'm installing. So now we've put up our box, which is this shallow four x four box painted red. And what we could do is just put up the horn strobe straight on the box like this, and it would look okay. But to take things a step further, what you can use is a semi-flush plate, which looks like this. So this is what a semi-flush plate is. You can see that this one is actually new and it's made by Siemens, but it's the exact same plate they were using back in the day. And what this is, is a plate that gives this device a nice appearance on the wall. So that's what this looks like. So you wire that up and it would look nice. So you can see to wire these devices, these are just two wire. I'm using these Wago things. These are not actual Wagos. I just bought these uh, for really cheap, but I use them for low voltage and it's a demo system, so it doesn't matter. So I just splice this through. This is the strobe circuit, but since these are just two wire, I only need the horn circuit. So I just do this and then now I fix this to the box. There it is. It's one device down and it looks pretty nice. Right under it, I'm going to be installing the classic BG6, which is, again, a legacy device. It's predecessor to the BG10 series, fully metal pull stations. So we're just going to wire it like so. Tighten down these screw terminals. Put the positive side into the other side of the terminals. Let's go ahead and tighten down these screws to the box. And then once we tighten down... This final screw over here. And by the way, I'm holding in the button because I haven't disabled the zone and I don't want the alarms to go off. So now I'm just gonna close the, the cover on this and then there's a screw at the top and then that's how you latch this pull station shut. And there it is, that right there is a Firelight BG6 and a Wheelock 7002. And if I do say so myself, I think it looks really, really nice and really authentic. So here I am replacing the rest of the devices. You can see I'm taking out this pole station and putting in a Kita B5, which is another old pole station that I think matches the theme of these devices well. Over here, I'm installing another 7002 horn strobe. You can see I'm using the same trim plates. I think these trim plates give it a really nice appearance. Obviously, these are actually really, really common to see with the flush plates, but because I'm surface mounting these on 4x4 boxes, and the body of the horn strobes are really close to the boxes. The trim plate gives it that nice finished look. So I do really like how these appear on the wall. 
Over in the Fire Museum, I'm doing the same thing. You can see I'm using the exact same trim plates, and I'm just swapping out the smoke detector and the 7002. Technically, you're not supposed to ceiling mount these devices, but back in the 80s when these things were installed, they did some crazy stuff anyways, so codes and standards don't matter for this demo system. In the utility room, pretty much the same deal. We're putting up a 7002 horn strobe, taking out this old pole station, and putting in a BNG-1, which is this silver pole station that's actually really, really hard to pull. Here in the bathroom, I'm installing this frosted strobe right here. It's a older wheel lock device, but it matches the theme pretty well. And then going into the garage, we're ripping out this old device right here, then putting in the new 7002. It's kind of weird saying that because it should really be the inverse. But again, we're downgrading, not upgrading. So we're putting in this old 7002 horn strobe, and then we're installing a BG6 under it. So this is the same pole station that you saw inside. And it's a really classic system, as you can see. There we go. Now we have an entire system of these legacy devices, just like we're back to the 80s or the 70s or whenever these devices were prevalent. I believe it was the 80s probably. But you can see we have our nice frosted bathroom strobe that I just put up. Pretty nice. In this room, I have this unit ceiling mounted, which is nifty. And then finally, this thing right here on a trim plate. Really like the appearance of these things on a trim plate and the really thin box is nice because it barely even looks like it's on a box but there's one thing left to do so let's go ahead and do it it's really really loud so i'm not gonna have it go off for long but thank you for watching please do like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one farewell